One of the things I think we have to realize is we are in a fast culture and there are seasons of life that are really difficult. The season that I was in when I first encountered this running four businesses, uh, starting a, a, a family, teaching a church, it was really busy. And I couldn't just snap my fingers when I realized, oh, I'm supposed to not be exhausted and not be exhausted. What I had to do is I, I had to start to make small little changes in my life. You know, things like slowing down, things like adding 15 minutes in the morning so that I could uh, relax a little bit more before the day, uh, things like practicing the Sabbath. I had to act, make small changes so that I could begin to experience a little bit of change. And then those small changes begin to compound. And what they enable you to do is, is what, what I write about in the book is, is creating a firewall. And the idea behind the firewall is, okay, I've got all of these businesses, I've got my kids, I've got all of this stuff pushing on me, and I, there's nothing that I can say no to right now. There's no way out of this right now. But what I can do is I can go to some point just a little bit into the future, it might be a few months, and say, but when here, that's my firewall, that's when something's going to change. So no more new commitments. No more this, no more we're going to change at this point. And so all of a sudden, if you can begin to get a little bit of a breath in the immediate moment by doing a few things differently, and you can see a light at the end of the tunnel, the point when all of a sudden I'm not going to take on any more commitments or when this is, that's when you can begin to see some change. So, you know, this isn't a you know, a nice, neat little formula that the minute you read this, you just, you know, do one, two, three, and four, and then all of a sudden life is all beautiful. No, it's really hard work, and that's what surprised me and what I've had to work and continue to work on. It's still a struggle for me, but I have to keep on making those small steps, keep on looking at the big picture, keep on making sure that things are in perspective. And that's, you know, that's the hard work of creating space to breathe again.